family y'all don't know i've been going over this video over and over again for the last two hours and then got the video good and ready was ready to put some music on and get it uploaded and guess what i found so many mistakes i had to do it over again so mama here doing it again it ain't gonna be like the first one. Mama started out saying that she wanted to, you know, kind of like take y'all around the house a little bit. You know, go to a different room because we always in the orange room all the time. But I decided that, um, you know, maybe, you know, we ought to go all over the house like we used to. Y'all remember back in the day? Back around 2008 and 2009, you know how we used to do it. Mama would go in the mirror and get it done and everything. You know, sometimes, you know, you make mistakes and stuff because, you know, you feel like you're on the spot because, you know, it's going to be viewers all over the world watching this. And so you want to get it right. Sometimes you have bloopers, you know, it, it happens. Y'all catch a lot of bloopers. Mama has so many bloopers on there. Some of them, sometimes I let them go, you know. But, you know, sometimes they have to be corrected because you got so many politically correct people out there. You just have to just, just you know, just feed it to them on a silver spoon. So this is for them. I had to do it all again. This is just for y'all. And Mama want to dress on too. Mama has been noticing a couple of comments, you know, like, you know, I want some of what you smoking. You know, what, what, what you had, Mama, to drink. I want some of that too. Look, this is a supernatural channel, okay? Okay, most of us believe, you understand, in, in, in the paranormal. So occasionally, mama's very sensitive. She may talk about the shadow on the wall, okay? Mama might talk about the bump and the noise that she hear, okay? That does not mean that she's been smoking or drinking anything, okay? Y'all know it's real weird because, you know, looking directly in the camera, it's like, it's like you're looking at yourself, you know, and you're talking to yourself. So it's kind of on the crazy side to be looking at it like that. But Mama just wanted to go in the mirror and do something for a change, you know, or just walk around the house, sit on a bed or whatever. So let's go to the bedroom. Before we go, can I introduce y'all to my um, fertility statue here? Isn't she gorgeous? She came all the way from the Middle East. And she works too. Okay. So let's let's go. Let's let's go here in another room. You understand? Mama wanna go in here in her room here. And let uh, let mama fix her bed first. And then we're gonna sit down here and talk because I had a little subject matter that I had wanted to talk to you all about I, I started not to even try to make the video over again because I was so disgusted because I caught something that was just so out and left field <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyway y'all see y'all remember that little area we used to stand in this mirror right here remember flashback y'all remember mama you sit in this one stand up in this one and talk Mm -hmm. It got much more junkier in here since then. Mama growing some, some of her plants in there. Mama don't want to put that on her plants because she don't want them to die. You know. Um, got a few art pieces here. These are 10 years old. They're very old. Mama don't mind showing those because those old, her style has completely changed. The new style is here. But I'm not ready to reveal them. It's going to be a while before Mama reveal those. That's that's my little painting station. I don't paint in this room. I used to paint another room, but I keep that in here. Okay. And you know what? Sam, let me get comfortable. I want to talk about the dragon people. That's what I started out talking about. And I'm telling you. I ruined that video. Very nice video. Uh, mama got a chance to remote view. And um, y'all know how mama do it. Mama's for, for all of the people who are new here. And most of you naysayers. You know, I'm a psychic medium, okay? If you don't know what that is, naysayers, look up psychic medium. Give you an idea of what a medium is, okay? And if you want to go on further to say mediums have lost their minds and we're smoking and we're drinking, you know, be my guest. Family back on track. So, I do some remote viewing and uh, I saw some entities, some, yeah, some, some, some entities, some people, if you 
might say. Because they looked almost like animals to me. But they were people. And um, I said, I think they may be the dragon people. Because their skin was like of a like a snake-like skin, you know. Or lizard-like. In, in nature and um, it was kind of from uh, the tones were from a light gray to a dark gray to a black and I saw them and uh, I, I've heard a lot of things about the dragon people heard a lot of things about them and I was shocked to see that, that they they too have a race of just slaves uh, also I saw them and um, let me see how much more time I have and I was shocked to know that they were very docile. Very docile. Now, don't get me wrong, because the leader was very strong and powerful. But the ones that I saw, they shocked me. Now, I'm going to come back in a minute because I'm running out of time on this digital camera. And I'm going to start all over again, okay? Okay, so I have... Hmm, they give me eight minutes. Good. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all of these six and seven minute videos, put them together, and have one huge format of a video. And so, uh, I got a chance to remote view them. And I saw a couple of the creatures because they look more like animals than they did human. But they did have human features. They were just like sitting on cobblestone. I mean, everything was paved. And cobblestone where I was so these people to me uh, seem like a, a group of a, a, a group of, of slaves to me um, but I guess it's just like you know here in, in in our human you know society you know you have your lower classes you have your upper classes you have your middle class you have your elites maybe it's the same with the dragon people the ones that I saw, they looked more or less like, um, I would call them tribal. They were more like tribal people. Um, um, one in particular that I saw, I mean, it, 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 it was not standing no taller than about uh, two to three feet. And they did not, these did not stand up upright, okay? There were some who stood up upright. And I gather that the ones that did stand up upright, they they may have been like in a leadership role or political role. Because there were those that stood up upright. They did not have any clothes on. Not even the leaders. It was just like this skin that they had. This reptilian skin or this uh, snake-like skin or whatever. Lizard-like skin that they had. With no clothing, once again. And um, they sat. And... To stand up would would be like a, a violation. They were not allowed to stand up. But they had to sit. sit by, the, the, but the, the, the people who were in power were able to stand. Isn't that interesting? And so um, one thing that I noticed about them that they had some very, very bad hygiene because they smelled really awful. You know, the, count, the, the smell was real strong, and I guess it's just the pheromones of the particular race of people, but it kind of reminded me of those little segmented worms. Y'all ever remember those segmented worms? They have this real strong odor. You know, when one was around you, if you were out in nature, and sometimes they would come in your house down here in the southern hemisphere, you'll just smell this strong, like, burnt urine odor. Now, that's what they smelled like. And I noticed that they had the tendency to, you know, just defecate wherever they wanted to defecate. So, I was like shocked. I was like, golly, I thought that the, that the dragon people, I heard so much good, so many good things about them and, and their race and everything. How high they had evolved until I was thrown off when I saw that. And especially when I smell that. But, um. Uh, Anyway, I, I want to go further into the dragon um, race of people because I wanted to, like, you know, say a couple of the words that I did hear and share with you some of the language, uh, uh, you know, the written language. Kind of give you an idea how they write and then they, they, they gave me a couple of symbols that I wanted you all to see 
and I'll be back to go over that information. It's interesting, y'all. You might want to hold on to one of those symbols because I've done some work with one of them and got some powerful results, okay? Back in a minute.